hello everyone welcome to my channel delhi tarot and these are your next three month reading for the sun moon and the rising sign of scorpio scorpio please keep in mind that this is your next three month reading a general reading for your quick guidance this is for july august september 2023 it's a group reading so please pick it up what resonates with you please leave the rest for others and you know very well that in case you want to connect with me for a personal private reading or a healing process my email id my website is mentioned in the description box below for you to reach out to me from there and if you really like what i do on the channel please do like subscribe the channel and put on the notifications now i'm going to pull out the energy oracle for each month july august and september and i'm going to pull out the angel messages for all the three months angel messages for all the three months july august you have got two messages and september messages from tarot i'm going to clarify each week each month with couple of tarot messages july august and september okay let us see what messages do we have for the month of july we have third chakra archangel kemiul we have not the right time scorpio in your tarot we have four of cups and we have the strength card the presence of leo energy into your reading and this is your own water sign energy cancer scorpio pisces energy now july is going to be an average month for you the complete month needs you motivates you to have the strength have the will power have the courage things are not happening as per your interest and as per your desire why because this is not the right time of a wish fulfillment or a dream closure during this month there is a lot of learning lessons which is going to happen and those lessons are very very important for you to gain that wisdom to gain that knowledge to gain that patience and courage you need very soon into your life so yes the this is definitely related to your personal and professional life and the energy is all about the power and control it is related to the kind of experience you are going through uh you know when you have the solar plexus chakra into any energy reading this means that this chakra is going through some blockages and you need to work around this chakra solar plexus chakra is about the power and control which you experience towards yourself towards the other person or towards a situation or a circumstances so the third chakra archangel came you the energy card states that you need to be aware about it you need to recognize that what is it which is making you or encouraging you or forcing you to control is it you your own emotions is it some situation or is it some person into your life this needs to be addressed very carefully in the month of july the more you release the control over situation self and others by saying that i does not mean that you make things out of track but don't try to over control or overpower any situation or a person in the right time in this time and the overall situation says that this is not the right time even for you to take any major or an abrupt decision so just allow this time to pass on to go like that and see that how the upcoming months are supporting you in time to come but yes july is definitely not the month for you to take any major decision and the card of four of cups also states that if you are getting any opportunity in personal and professional life you have seen the similar kind of opportunity before also and that is the reason you are not finding it interesting enough what is coming your way so i always tell people that when you are not interested instead of staying no 
don't take any uh, abrupt decision take your time hold on things and see what is coming next the better one and then say no to something which is existing or which is coming on its own now let us see what messages do we have in the month of august you have the fourth chakra archangel raphael which is related to your heart that means that something has gone not so well with you emotional uh, heartbreak emotional pain emotional bleeding a heart pain this is definitely talking about a heart chakra blockage this is also some kind of resentment or regret you are holding in yourself scorpio you are not allowing that energy to go out of from your love i do see uh, from your heart i do see that you have gone through a major major betrayal and a setback i can sense that and this energy is coming up more in the month of august and let us see what your other cards are talking about the angel message says the situation is going to improve and ask for help from others yes this heart chakra because you know very well heart chakra is the connection between the lower relin chakra and the upper chakra the spiritual chakra the setback the the loss which you feel the mourning which you feel you were going through it the overall situation is definitely going to improve whether it's a mental situation emotional situation a physical situation or a financial situation the overall situation which has given you a setback or a heartbreak or a heart pain will definitely improve in time to come however in order to handle the situation and in order to balance the situation out you need help so be vocal about it be open about it and do not shy do not go away from asking from help whosoever you feel can help you in your family friends you need people in therapy you need people in healing you need spiritual guidance you need mentor coaches you need therapist whatever you may Uh, you may you you may you are able to resonate with ensure that you are calling out for that help because i can see that in the month of july things are not going your way and you are trying to maintain your patience and courage however when you when you hold back a lot of things in your heart it gives emotional pain so seek help ask for help and that help is really going to help you for sure now in your tarot reading you have 8 of pentacles and you also have a card of knight of cups which is a very very promising and a growing kind of energy from your tarot reading it says it will be also the time when you will start expanding you will start looking out from out of box you will start looking out of your boundaries or it, there is also high possibility that you start learning and upgrading your skills and competencies i do see that the situation which was falling back the situation which was not into your favor in the month of july suddenly you will feel that it has take it is it has started taking a movement and i do see that you come out as out as a winner as a person with victory and triumph out of this difficult situation and that is why if you are feeling right at the moment when you are listening to this a uh, reading if you feel you are going through any struggle the struggle i do see is going to continue in the month of july but the month of august is going to be an absolutely a month of rewards for you things are going to be better much better things are going to get improved and professionally you are going to expand you are going to grow you are going to you are going back to relearning again and i do see that even if you are growing uh, job wise professionally you are growing there will be additional responsibility and you will be able to handle those additional responsibility wonderfully well and the beauty of 8 of pentacle is that it is being followed by knight of of cups which means you know things are going to take very very fast quick action there is going to be very fast movement communication is going to happen and things will certainly you will see it is turning the table and things are coming absolutely into your favor so knight of cups says that whatever situation you were going through or you are going through the victory the triumph is going to come to you by august end for sure so be very very hopeful have trust have patience 
just be very very cool about it that things are going to fall very soon in your favor it is just the matter of time that you're going through some little ups and downs now let us see what messages do we have in the month of september you again have a broken heart out there which is mirroring the fourth chakra archangel uh, Raphael, you have a peaceful resolution. Why? Because you have Knight of Cups in August. So no matter what happens, no matter how hard, how difficult is the situation, the victory, the triumph is definitely going to come and there will be peaceful resolution with some maybe changes, modifications, but the things will come to an outcome which will be favorable for you. However, I do see that you are going through a major, major emotional turmoil. I do see that there is a disturbance in your aura. There is disturbance in your chakras, especially your heart chakra and your solar plexus chakra, which has led you to this broken heart, broken energy. This is this could be uh, this could also. Uh, be uh, you know a betrayal in a relationship or a betrayal in a professional relationship also uh, it could be a case of forgery also for some of you so you know you need to know that things will get settled down and this is reality you know uh, what I see, what I'm sensing from your card, it's a group general reading. So if it is resonating with you, you can take it out again, I'm saying. But if you feel, no, it is not happening with me or it is not going to happen with me, just discard. You, you can release those energies, but I do see that it is definitely a very strong energy. However, the resolution is going to be very, very peaceful for sure. Now let us see what tarot reading do we have in the month of September. You do have uh, the high priestess that means something is still hidden from you which needs to come up at the surface level yet and you also have a card of nine of sword which says something which is hidden not clear maybe a situation a relationship or something professionally is giving you a lot of anxiety lot of stress and is not allowing you to uh, is not allowing you to feel complete happy and contented and let me see a card clarifying to high priestess and a card clarifying to nine of swords as well so do we do have the tower movement out here something shattered uh, and uh, the nine of swords is the seven of wands uh, and this says that something major is again going to happen in the month of September and then you also feel that the situation is not into your favor you are struggling again however the tower gives you again an opportunity to rebuild yourself rebuild the structure of your life to stand up again on your feet to believe on your belief system have very very solid trust this is your checking time the divine and universe is checking your commitment and with this low period the divine is checking your trust as well into that however with seven of wands i do feel that though you will be able no matter how hard is the situation you will be able to protect and well define and well protect your uh, self in any area of your life wonderfully scorpio the next three months seems to be little average month. This is just a general reading. So please pick it up what resonates with you. Please leave the rest for others. And energies do keep on changing. However, I would like to tell you that the positive affirmations and positive mantras really play a major role in our life. If you feel like trying some positive affirmations for yourself, you can definitely change your situation because it is all about how you manifest, how you visualize your daily life with these positive affirmations. Do let me know that how you are able to resonate with it. If you need any angel message support from my side just to give you extended help in the next three months Scorpio you can drop your um, name to me on the video and I will definitely pull out a separate angel message card for you with your name I can only support you in this way so this is a general reading again I'm saying pick it up what resonates with you rest you can definitely discard and I will see you next time very soon be blessed